So these are my dark circles, say hello. So I'm gonna show you some products that worked for me for over a year now. And I remember the last time I did in uh, how to cover up your dark circles video, uh, that was that was a hit like a lot of people really liked that video now I just want to put that out there that some of these products may work for me it may not work for you just keep that in mind um, if you have your own routine that's great you know if it works for you you can totally stick to that but I'm gonna show you guys what I use and what's worked for me for over a year now and some of these are kind of like frequent like they're new for like the past six months that I've had them or more so I'm just I'm gonna show you guys what I use that really cover up my dark circle. So this one is the Erase Paste by Benefit. This is the number one in Fair. I was supposed to get a shade a little darker than this, like more of a peachy shade. This is more on like a light pink peach. It's like really fairly light, but the other one is more deeper. But I mean, this works for me. And I love this. They don't make it in this packaging anymore. They discontinued it to like a new packaging. Well, I don't want to say discontinued, they revamped it. But this one, it's my all-time favorite. I don't know how the other one is, but this one totally works for me. As you can tell, I've gone through this a lot. And I did show this in my last cover up your dark circles video. So that works for me really, really good as like a um cancellation of the dark circles. But after I'm done with that. I would go in with two concealers. This one is the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. This one's in the shade Light Medium, and this is kind of like my skin tone, but a little more lighter, you can say. And this one is the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer Cream uh, Concealer. So this one is in the shade Cool. I have two different ones. I have them in my makeup stash, but I go for these if I wanna do like kind of like an everyday or go-to but if i'm just going to be doing like makeup tutorials and i want my under eyes to be a little lighter then i'll go a shade lighter or two so these are my go-to concealers that i love but another product that i want to show you guys that also is great for canceling out your dark circles is the it's all busted up this is the it cosmetics bye bye under eye concealer and this one's in the shade neutral medium i remember i got one in my ipsy bag when i was um part of ipsy like subscription i had the travel size one and i loved it so much that i was like this is like a life-changing concealer for me so i got me the big one and i'm gonna have to pick up another one soon because this one's like halfway done to make this tutorial a little more fun i'm gonna be using these two products on two sides so one is for the it cosmetic side and this one on the um left side of my face so i'm gonna be doing that and what i use to blend out my concealers is i i mainly use a beauty blender or any type of sponge that is really really bouncy and if i don't i would go in with this brush It's a really fluffy brush for like to get into the under eyes this is the morphe e8 brush and i like to blend out like whatever is like right under here sometimes like if you don't want to like go all the way with a brush then you could just blend it out and diffuse it so that way it looks you know kind of blend it out and not look cakey or it doesn't look it doesn't look streaky and it's not just sitting there like from like your foundation to your concealer so i like using this but if i want to just be on the go and i want to run out and i want to apply a little bit of concealer and to cover up my dark circles i'll just blend it out real fast i won't add a lot of products so this tutorial i'm going to show you guys how i do it with adding a little bit of just a little bit of product under my eyes and then adding like as I'm going to do like a makeup tutorial or something like that. With this, it's it's really pigmented and it's very thick. So you don't want to pick up too much. If you are afraid of like a product that's a little too thick, then you can use MAC Fix Plus for, you know, kind of making it blend easier under the eyes or you could add a little bit of oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of this Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer and it's very, very like silicone kind of, like it just, it's not too liquidy, it's like perfect. So I add it onto the concealer 
and I'm going to blend that out. We'll kind of mix it and then blend it into my under eye. So I just used a regular angled kind of like synthetic brush and I'm going to apply that right there. Now I want to explain something. So I have dark circles right under my eyes, like right here, starting and ending over here. And then I do have some dark pigmentation over here. So you also want to get that area too, like that. So I just cover up just like that. And you see how it just blends nicely. So I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to cover up this pimple too. Now I'm going to take a sponge and I'm going to lightly blend that out. You don't want to blend it out like the way you would blend out a concealer. Like how you blend all over the place. So I'm just going to blend out gently. And also cover up the whole entire lid area because that is discoloration right there. You see how it just magically covered everything. So lightly tap. And I do apply concealer right where it's meeting the waterline only because for me, I, it might not be like that for some people, but I do have discoloration all the way up there. So I do want to cover that up because if I don't cover that up, then it's going to look like I've been crying. <laughs> like it's going to be red and it's going to be a whole different shade from like my my concealer to my foundation so i do go and look up and then blend that out and you do have to set that because concealers like these like it cosmetics it is a thick formula so you have to cover that and set that um concealer because if you don't it's going to crease like a mofo now that i cover that up you can see the difference like isn't that I look like I got punched in the face and this one looks like I'm about to slay people. I'm going to go in with this concealer to now conceal. Now what I did first is I color corrected and I'm going to conceal and then I'm going to set. So it's three steps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over where I did, you know, color correct and this is just a little bit of product. It might look a lot, but it's not. And this is like what I do every time I'm about to go out or I want to look decent. So what I do is I take the sponge and then I'm going to bounce and cover. And there we go. So now I'm going to set that under eye with a translucent powder. This one is by Laura Mercier and I'm almost done with it. And usually I'll take a brush that is a little more fluffy to kind of cover that up. For instance, I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics number four brush and it's like this. It's more tapered but fluffy, you see, and it's going to get right in the under eye. So. I'm going to make sure that the concealer is not creasing and then I'm going to take some of that powder like that and then just look up and tap. Don't dust it. You need to tap because if you don't tap it and you just dust it, it's not going to set that concealer. And you can tell that it's already starting to crease because that concealer is pretty thick. Now, it, this is just one side, so you see the big, big, big difference. So now I'm going to do this side with the erase paste and the Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And I'm also going to use this brush to show you guys how I do the magic that I always do when I'm concealing and color correcting. I'm going to take another brush to pick up some of that erase paste. I'm going to pick up this much and... Make sure you get that. This is also a thick formula, but this one I'm going to use a brush to blend that out. And I'm going to blend out those harsh edges 
with the same brush that I mentioned earlier, the E8 brush. So that's how I cover up this dark circle. And I'm going to use a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to do what I normally do when I'm doing makeup tutorials. So I'm gonna show you on this side. So I'm going to take it here and then go right under like that. I know it seems like a lot, but you know, everybody has their own preference on how they apply concealer and bronzer. So I'm going to take this brush and blend out that harsh line and that whole concealer. You see how easy that was for me to blend it out. That was like so fast. That's why I love this brush. Okay, now that I concealed, I'm going to set that, but I'm not going to use a translucent powder from Laura Mercier. I'm going to use the Fit Me Loose Powder, and this one has a little bit of tint of color, and I'm going to use that to set that and lock the concealer so it doesn't move and it doesn't crease. So make sure you get that, and also the lid area take that same brush and make sure you I don't normally bake but I'm going to do it for this tutorial reason why I don't bake because it does make my under eyes look really dry so I do a light bake, that makes sense. You see the difference? Like I literally covered up the dark circles and I love this technique so much. And I love the products that I've, you know, come to love and just use it together. And I just think that it works so well. Like the Tarte Shape Tape, the Kat Von D, the Race Paste, the It Cosmetics, those are like my go-to Holy Grail products that I love to use. It, it works every single time. And I just showed you two different ways and two, you know, sides that have different products, but they work well. So that's how I cover up my dark circles. If you have any questions or if you have any different techniques that you may want me to try out, I'll definitely try it out. And if it worked for you, let me know in the comments down below. Let's chat about it. Um, having dark circles is not the most pleasant thing to have. Like, I know there's other people that do suffer with like more severe situations on the face but dark circles is something that i've suffered with for like since i was a teenager and i never knew why and now that i'm older i understand it more and i've come to embrace it um you know i show you guys in my channel all the time that you know i come on there with dark circles i don't care um you know, it's a part of me. This technique with different products has helped me and I'm really, really happy with it. And I'm happy that makeup can actually do that for you. And it's a temporary thing. So like at the end of the day, I'm not ashamed of my dark circles. I've come to love myself and I've come to to the point where like I could walk outside and not care what people think. And that's I think that's a beautiful thing that I, I've, you know, grown to. If this has helped you, let me know. Please let me know if it did. Um, if you suffer with dark circles, let me know as well. You know, we can encourage each other. Um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching my video. And if you're a new viewer, you know, to my channel, welcome. And also, um, let me know if this has been a good video for you. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.